Hey, what's up? Welcome to Backyard Smoke. I'm your boy James, and I'm back with another video for you today. Today, I have teamed up with a company called Koyoku, which is a Japanese knife company that really wants to make amazing Japanese cutlery affordable for the average home cook, pit master, chef, and whatnot. And they sent me out an amazing set of non serrated steak knives. I kind of wanted to share with you guys what this is. They were kind of sending these to me, so this is a sponsored video. But you're, as always, you're going to get my 100% review and uh, just opinion on these. So, first things first. This company really uh, outdid themselves with these. And the packaging was amazing. I took off the main over covering because I wanted to definitely try these out and make sure they're good quality before I wasted my time. And I guarantee they're good quality. Um, the one main thing that I love about these is the 67 layers of Damascus steel that you can see on these things. It is beautiful. If you put these out for your guests when they come over for a cook, they are going to love them. Trust me. Uh, another thing, these are unique in a coating that they have called a silver ion coating. Now what that does is it prevents contaminants from growing on your blades now you should always wash your blades soak water hot water then dry them off especially damascus blades or any other type of high-end blades that you have do not let them sit in the water and reduce water spots however the silver ion coating is an extra layer of protection now check this out these knives come i'm, I'm gonna show you check this out i'm gonna bring you down i hope you guys see this really well all right check it out this nice velvet uh, packaging they have is amazing, but it doesn't stop there. These actually come with their own sheath. It slides in and gives it extra protection. One of the most important things when I do my knives and purchase my high-end knives is I look for a sheath to protect my blade when it's in a drawer or if I didn't have a cutting board or a magnetic strip. So these are beautiful i'm not sure what the handle is made out of but i will put it in there most of these are made like a g10 wood or some type of a kaya wood but i'll look up on their website and put a link in there for this but look they have their nice uh handle on the bottom here little stamp kayoku these are weighted pretty well uh very sharp and purchase them they take off the little plastic top and lay them down right here and it's a set of four I don't know if you can see Damascus in this, but I'll go ahead and do a close-up later or show it to you. The Damascus steel, simply beautiful. Um, I'm a big fan of Damascus steel because usually no two are the same. There's always some cool differentials. So, one of the other claims is that these are very strong. Um, they are flexible and they actually work well. So, I'm not going to like flex a knife. That's not my thing. It's not used for that. It's used for cutting. I do have a couple of New York strips right here. We're going to put these on the pit and then we're going to take them out and then really try these out to see how they look and how this knife, sorry, we're going to see how these knives perform. We're not worried about the steaks. Steaks are going to be fine. We know that. That's not the issue. But we want to see how these knives perform and if they're worth it. I believe they are, personally, just off of the, um, the way they feel. I have yet to use these yet, so we're going to use these for the first time together. But tell me, friends, these, these are beautiful. Um, here's another label on the back here. I just noticed they put their logo on the back, and uh, it had Japanese domestic steel with the ion protection. Like I was talking about the silver ion protection. They really want to get that across, uh, all about cleanliness. So, yeah, we're going to definitely go ahead and get these cooking and try these out. So, let me go ahead and fire up the grill do a quick cook then we're going to come back and slice it in these new york strips all right i'll see you guys in a minute time is now 
forgive me all right so we're going to go ahead and check it out got the steak done using the knife we're going to see how good this is so far this thing cuts effortlessly oh wow i'm not even putting no pressure the cuts are smooth they're super good oh wow steak looks beautiful by the way let's see how thin we can get this oh wow that's really thin this non serrated blade is amazing better than some of the restaurants I've been to Let's look at how thin these cuts are let's take a big chunk out here Ooh. Hardly no pressure. I think it's smooth. Smooth as butter. <laughs> Not like the butter on top. I mean, this is like really good. Once you get past that crust, this is an awesome knife. I definitely like this. Steaks cooked to the, my, my standards. Simply beautiful. Cut this again. Oh man. As you can hear, my dogs are really into it. They want their piece. This is beautiful. I love it. Alright, so check it out, man. This is really good. I mean, these cuts are good, they are clean. You can see how thin they get. Um,. This knife is good. I'm not going to lie. I love the color. I love the handle. It's definitely replacing the steak knives that I did have in the house, which were serrated, which really kind of messed up a lot of meats. I prefer the non-serrated. It's smooth. You know, we're going to check on the wear and tear. We don't use these often. They are steak knives, but you can use steak knives like chicken breast and turkey and stuff like that. But I wanted to say thank you again for the Kayoku company and forgive me if I'm saying it wrong for sending these out um, Definitely going to be using them on backyard smoke a lot So really appreciate it guys. There's a link in the description for the company. There should be a coupon code down there as well I really really appreciate you guys if you like videos like this feel free to uh, You know put a thumbs up share it subscribe it and uh, we'll be back for more starting to warm up here in Columbus I'm loving it. Hopefully the snow holds off we can get outside and do more cooks. All right, y'all, peace.